Hi, how do you look at a product and a product structure? What information do you want to store and manage within the product model? And what information does your downstream consumers need to find and reuse from this product structure? Well, that probably depends on what role or function you have within your company. If you're a design engineer, your priority is on what do we need to produce. Your focus will be on form, fit and function of the product. And you would like to structure a model in the way that it meets these requirements. And perhaps in a way that is suitable for your CAD tool. Or if you have a modular product, you would like to structure in the, your model in a way that you can add and replace modules to easily create product variants. On the other hand, if you're a manufacturing engineer, what's important for you is how do we produce this product in order to meet time, cost and quality requirements. So you would like to uh, structure a product in a way that you, for example, can get appropriate work packages to the shop floor. And you also deal with the complexity of having multiple facilities or uh, having different manufacturing processes. And lastly, if you're a service engineer, your focus should be on how do we service this product. And you would like to structure and group components within the model so that you can sell appropriate service kits. And if you try to capture all of these requirements into one single bomb, you know this will eventually end up in problem. And you will get a product structure that is not perfect for anyone. So we need to be able to manage multiple bombs. But managing multiple bombs can be a challenge, especially if you have disconnected teams, processes or systems. And this is still a common scenario within ma many companies. E-bomb is managed in the PLM systems and the M-bomb is managed in ERP or MES or even on separately on Excel spreadsheets. And with this we have challenges. We have disconnected teams. We have uh, difficulties to find and control the product planning information. We have separate processes and standards between the design and the production departments, or even lack of standards. And eventually, this will lead to product delays, errors, and poor product quality. So with that said, here are some tips and best practices that we have regarding managing of multiple bombs and bomb transformation. First, try to integrate your product data into one single PLM system and connect and associate your upstream and downstream bomb such as uh, the E-bomb and M-bomb and try to evolve your manufacturing process managed capabilities within these PLM systems so that you can leverage your design investment throughout your whole business. PTC's solution for meeting these challenges is with Winchill MPM Link. With Winchill, you can manage your product structure, and with Winchill MPM Link, you can easily create your downstream associative bombs, such as E bomb or S bombs. Using the Manufacturing Product Structure Browser, you can create downstream bombs using copy and paste actions, or even by drag and drop to add components from the upstream to the downstream bomb. The associativity between the two bombs is controlled by so-called equivalent links. This will help you keep control of what and where a component is used in the downstream bomb. And the dynamic visualization of the structure will help you to see the status of the transformation. Components that is used in the downstream bomb will be grayed out or hidden in the upstream visualization window. There are also tools for comparing these two structures in order, to keep, in order to find discrepancies between the two bombs. In this video, I've mainly shown and talked about E-bomb and M-bomb transformation. But there are of course other bombs that can be managed in a similar way using Winchell MPM Link. Such as downstream service bombs, S-bombs, or uh, upstream system bombs, which is heavily used in, uh, for example, the shipbuilding industries. So if you would like to know more about Winchell MPM Link and the bomb transformation capabilities, please contact me or anybody else or my colleagues. 
and we will gladly help you to make this digital transformation journey.